hey, um, the Twitter files, are, how, how, how much longer are these going to go on? Uh, it seems like every week, another drop, uh, and these are uh, pretty controversial. Um, how much longer are the Twitter files going to go on uh, in your mind? Yeah. And maybe why is this important to you to, to make sure that people understand the stuff? Yeah. I think it's important to like, you know, if, if we're going to be trusted in the future to kind of clear the decks for stuff that's happened in the past. So, um, I mean, to be totally frank, um, almost every conspiracy theory that people had about Twitter turned out to be true. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, if, is there a conspiracy theory about Twitter that didn't turn out to be true? Uh, so far, they've all turned out to be true. And if not, uh, more true than people thought. Is there a part of the files that really shocked you more than the rest of them? Like of the things that have been disclosed? Of all of these things, is there something that really sticks out with you as like, holy shit, I had no idea this was happening? Or is the whole thing just a big dumpster fire? <laughs> they were just looking at one huge thing. Um, you know, like PSYOPs versus the Hunter Biden thing versus the... Yeah. The number of FBI people involved, that was the pretty FBI shocking. stuff is pretty intense. Yeah, the yeah. FBI PSYOP stuff to me was probably the one that was the most insidious. Like, the rest of it I could think of like, you know, a bunch of overzealous libs got used. Yeah. Got it. You know what I mean? Sure, sure. But to have like a secure skiff that essentially sends things that, you know, government agents want the populace to basically think, it seems like out of a, like a really bad dystopian novel. And then it turns out it existed. And then it also, the thing is, it couldn't have just existed at Twitter. So, what are yes. we going to do about all the other places where this shit's happening? YouTube, Facebook, yeah. Yeah, that's right. why this, it did, exactly. it, none of it seemed that surprising to me. It, I mean, I don't know, maybe I just believed all the conspiracy theories, but I've also <laughs> been inside some of these companies and seen how they operate. So, honestly, none of it was a surprise to me. Was it a big shock to you, Elon? Wait, wait, wait. You, you, Freeberg, you were, I, I think you can claim that you weren't surprised that these companies were shadow banning, although they yeah. denied it. But did you really suspect that the FBI was playing a role in flagging content for these companies to take down? Like but yeah, that yeah. blew me away. But con content yeah. that's got nothing to do with like terrorism. Yeah, they're anything. not investigating crimes. Like there's no crime. Right. Yeah. They literally flagged satire. <laughs> 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 Maybe they didn't get the joke. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> they don't seem to be a humor uh, driven group, but um, they don't seem to have the best senses of humor. But aren't they supposed to get warrants? Isn't that how it's supposed to work in a democracy? They want they're information. Asking, they're about asking users, favors of their friends. Yeah, they're all Th friends. That's the thing that's troubling to me. P put yourself on either side of the extremes. Hey, we, we have Michael Schellenberger here who broke the FBI story in the Twitter files. So uh, oh, let's flip okay. it to him and to see if okay. he can explain. Because I think maybe the audience isn't caught up on like what was discovered. So you want now, to now I have you? to follow Elon Musk. That doesn't seem fair. <laughs> <Yeah>. Hey, guys. <laughs> hey, Michael. Uh, I head back to work. Okay. So, all right. All right. Thanks, guys. See you later, Elon. Thank, Thank you. Later. Thanks. Hey, guys. Oh, hey, Michael. How are you? Uh, I'm good. good.